Hi everyone, it's Em again, and today's video is going to be a tad bit different. Today's going to be, you probably guessed it from the title, story time about how I ended up with dentures at 34, almost 35. Well, I guess I could start out by saying that when I was a child, I did not really go to the dentist. I went to the dentist two times whenever I was a child. First time I went to the dentist, I had like eight cavities the very first time I went, which is not very good. Um, second time I went was because I got my tongue pierced. I was 16 and it had came out while I was eating and I had broken a back molar and they actually filled it. Well, during senior pitcher, I was chewing gum and my filling came out. And I never went and got it fixed. Honestly, I hated the dentist. I hated going to the dentist. I just hated the dentist all around. Um, also, whenever I was a preteen, um, all the women in my family are heavy set women. And my aunt always talked about people's weight. That's all she ever <laughs> talked about. And whenever I was younger, I always heard, oh, well, you know, Emily's going to be big like the rest of us. And my little sister. She was really skinny. And she's going to be super skinny like the other side of the family. So whenever you're a kid and you're constantly hearing this when you're 10, 11, 12 years old, it makes you not want to eat no more. So that's what I did. I started starving myself. But I like food. So then whenever I was about 12, 13 years old, I started purging because I didn't want to get big. Um, then I figured out, oh, I can just eat tons of sugary food and drink tons of soda, get lots of energy, and I don't ever have to gain any weight. Works. Well, needless to say, years later, it doesn't work. Don't do it. Um, anyways... Then, um, whenever I was a child, when I was a teenager, my parents had drug problems, and whenever I was 14, I tried drugs for the first time. Um, by the time I was 18, I had almost, I, well, I had done tons of drugs by the time I was 18, because I hung out with the wrong crowd. I did bad stuff, and now I'm paying for it. <laughs> Um, I haven't done anything since I was 18, but that doesn't matter. The damage was already done to the teeth at that point. Besides that, being malnutrition, not eating proper food, and drinking lots of soda all the time, and eating lots of candy all the time, just completely took its toll on my teeth. By the time I was 19... My teeth had started to deteriorate. Um, it went in spurts. So, like, for a year or two, I would have a couple teeth break off. And I would not get them fixed. I just wouldn't go to the dentist. I actually had made several appointments to go to the dentist. But then when it actually came around to going to the dentist, I chickened out and I didn't go. And I wish now that I would have went. Because I wouldn't be dealing with dentures at 34. But I didn't go. And it is what it is. I can't change it now. But if this video helps somebody else who is beginning that deterioration process, before it gets worse, go to the dentist. Get it fixed. It doesn't matter how much it costs. Just do it. You don't want to be young with dentures. I'm not saying there's anything bad 
about being young with dentures. But it's not your teeth. They're whenever I originally got my extractions on the 22nd of December, I cried. I true I really cried. I cried a couple of times because you're missing a part of you. You don't have your natural teeth anymore. You look different. It's in the beginning very distraughting. Anyways, it still kind of makes me upset. Uh, don't get me wrong. I like the fact that now I can smile. I don't have to go, ha, 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 ha. Or the fact that I don't have tooth pains anymore. I don't have, I had a broken off tooth, a uh, canine. And it kept getting abscessed for the last couple years. I don't have to deal with that no more. I don't have to deal with the other canine over here having a hole to the nerve where every time I even just breathed in that cold air, if it was cold outside, cold air would hit it and it would be, ugh, that feeling. Or you can't eat cold stuff. You can't eat hot stuff. So I'm happy that I got it done. I'm happy that I don't have all those bad teeth in my mouth anymore. I mean, I've had that them I've had really bad teeth in my mouth since I was probably about 28. And maybe that's another reason why I haven't had a baby. I haven't ever became pregnant. So maybe that's another reason why cuz your body's not going to want to reproduce whenever you have all this infection going on in it. I also had abscesses that had begun um, in 2013 after my grandma had passed away. I was extremely stressed out and I began getting abscesses under my arms and in my groin area. I think maybe that the abscesses were MRSA. I haven't gotten any in a while. Um, when my grandmother was in the hospital, she had gotten MRSA and they put her on hospice and she came home to pass away. And I was the one that was giving her her shots and I was the one that was cleaning up after her and everything. So I think because I had all of the tooth infection going on at the time and I have um, really bad asthma and at that time I was getting tons of antibiotics and tons of steroids like every time I get bronchitis the doctors would just give me antibiotics and steroids and it really weakened my immune system and I think that's the reason I had maybe contracted contracted yeah whatever the bug and it's gotten better, but it's something that I've dealt with for four years. Whenever I um, I started bathing with Hibiclens a couple times a week, and I started on keto, and I haven't had any other problems. But this is why my channel is you know a journey, my journey to a better me. A couple years ago, I had started getting rid of endocrine disruptors out of my diet, out of my health care products and everything. I started out by changing the shampoo, the soap, the toothpaste I used, all of that. And then slowly went into changing the food that... I was ingesting because before this I I grew up poor I used Dollar Tree stuff which obviously now I don't use um, I ate crap food I ate at Burger King McDonald's all that crap all the time which is not good for you it's not something that you really 
know about if you don't have somebody there telling you about it. Like, oh, you shouldn't eat that. That's crap. You should eat real food that has nutrients for your body because that food becomes you. You don't really realize that if somebody's not there telling you that. So, for anybody who doesn't have somebody telling them that, I am telling you now that you want to take care of yourself. You don't want to be in your late 20s or even mid 20s, late 20s, early 30s, whatever. You don't want to finally wake up one day and say, man, I have just treated myself like shit all these years. Like, I never thought that it was going to actually end up leading to problems. And now I want to change it. And it takes a lot to change your habits. It takes a lot to change your lifestyle. I've been working on it for a couple years now. And... I'm not going to lie. I still eat out. I still eat crap. It's hard whenever you grow up consuming that shit. And then you can't change it overnight. So I'm telling you now if. Okay, back again. So, anyways, what I was saying. If. You want to change your life. If you want to fix your health. Whoops. If you want to fix your health. You can do it. It's a journey. One step at a time. Don't let anybody tell you that you are not worth it. Because you are. You have to believe that you're worth it. You can do it. It takes time. It takes determination to change your life. It truly does. And that's what I'm currently doing. I'm working every day, little by little, to change my life, to better myself, and to become the healthiest and the happiest version of myself. Sorry about all the shakiness. Just went over railroad tracks. So, I know this video was supposed to be about how my teeth got the way that they are. And I kind of rambled on about other crap. But, it all links together. It truly does. It all links together. But, that's how my teeth got bad. That's why I am 34 with dentures. And I am one month in with my dentures, and I'm still getting used to them. It's a big adjustment. Maybe one day I will actually get brave enough to take my teeth out on camera. I thought that I would be a lot more vain than what I currently am, but... I have actually been without my teeth in front of a couple of people already. And I honestly didn't think that I would ever do that. You know, besides just my family, my husband. But I've had a couple friends come over and I'm just like, eh, I don't feel like gluing the muff freakers in. So guess what? You get to see me without my teeth and I don't care at this point. But anyways... That was my little story time about how my teeth got bad and how I ended up with dentures at 34. I hope that this video helps somebody. Uh, if you're thinking about getting dentures, if you are young and you're worried about what people are going to think about you or how everything's going to be after you get it done. Trust me, everybody worries about that. I worried about that for so long. I honestly been thinking about getting dentures for five plus years. Six, seven years, something like that. Since I was about 28. Since my teeth really started going downhill. Like, quickly. 
very quickly at that point. I thought about it for a while and I kept putting it off. Oh no, you know, my face is going to look so sunken in. I'm going to look old. I'm not going to have no teeth and I'm going to have, it's going to be horrible. And that's all I kept thinking about. And I let my nerves and my anxiety get the best of me all that, all them years. And I honestly wish that I would have done it sooner because I am going to get implants. I'm not a rich person. I had to finance my teeth and I went through affordable. It's going to cost me, and it cost me $4,005 to get 18 extractions and to get immediates and the economy plus. That's what I got, if anybody was wondering. And currently, I just have my immediates, which are crooked, but they're better than what I had. So, I hope that this helps somebody just, you know, realize that it's going to be better in the end. My, honestly, I already feel better. Like, I don't have that just, oh, I feel like crap today kind of feeling because my tooth's been hurting me all night long and I didn't get barely any sleep and uh, I can barely brush my teeth because they're so damn sensitive. I can brush. I can, eh, I can drink hot. I can drink cold. Well, of course, I still have, these are still mine and I can still feel hot and cold on them, but they don't have anything wrong with them so I was lucky as far as that goes but I really hope that this helps somebody and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below I'm about to be at my delivery I gotta pay attention to where I am going but anyways that's my little story time for today and I truly hope that it does help somebody. So, until next time, guys. Bye.